I'll just give a welcome note and a warm welcome to all the residents, students, nurses, our, uh, our other staff, uh, administrative staff, faculty. A uh, very warm welcome to Noreen and Nisa and of course uh, Dr. Ba. Um, Dr. Bilhwami. So we have uh, been celebrating the Immunization Week. Uh, this has become a sort of tradition in the department for the last few years. And, uh, you know, the biggest challenge is, so, so we create these movements around immunization weeks, trying to increase the rates of immunization as well as awareness. There are activities in the wards, in the clinics, but I just want one, give you guys one simple message that, you know, immunization is something that we don't celebrate in a week. It is a lifelong uh, you know, uh, being pediatricians, being people who take care of children, it is actually a lifelong goal that we keep uh, encouraging parents to get their vaccines in our clinic. Uh, whenever we see our patients, so even nurses, when you are doing your anthropometry in the clinic, you can ask about the immunization status and encourage people to uh, to increase the immunization and you know get their children vaccinated. Uh, there are a lot of activities that Ali can give you a brief. We will also be sending out regular reminders, both from Chair Pediatrics as well as from the hospital side. So keep a lookout on that and I hope you enjoy today. I think the, this year theme is uh, it's humanly possible. So I think uh, many times we may have a tendency to forget the basics. And to me, immunization is the basics of everything. And we have all learned our lessons during the pandemic, haven't we? Huh? We were there for COVID vaccine all the time. So these are the basics and we should all remember the basics and encourage every parent, every family to get their vaccinations on a timely basis. And at this moment of time, I must appreciate all our uh, immunization uh, LHVs, all our you know hospital midwives, nurses, women and child health, workforce, physicians, everybody and the immunization committee and the PNC committee, how can I forget that? To ensure that this has been reminded to our community every time when there's the immunization week. We all need reminders. So thank you for doing that and good luck and all the best for your event. Thank you. You know that I'm not so bad, yeah, so it's around 9% of the week is a reminder. But for our students, for our Upcoming uh, doctors, staff, nurses, parents. You know, if you really look at what has really transformed medicine in the last uh, decades, and if you review it uh, 50 years before and now, preventive medicine and immunization probably is the biggest change that has really transformed. So, they should have those conditions that used to be so rampant, they are no longer existing. I don't think so. How many of you people have seen a tetanus case? Raise your hands. So this one, I think as much we can invest as an organization, as a group, as a department, as a group of healthcare, uh, those who really inform the public, immunization is the key and it is the cheapest way to really take care of a lot of very, very sickening, very, very debilitating and very demanding and chronic conditions to prevent the medicine. So I would really, first of all, I would really want to thank and, and appreciate uh, Baila, Ali, the entire group, uh, the entire leadership which is here and those who are supporting it. But uh, please continue to invest in this and we as an organization, we should really take preventive medicine all across and take it deeper into the communities. And Merakanme University, JKU, the amount of work that JKU has done in the last four decades in terms of bringing awareness, in terms of doing nationwide surveys, in terms of really carrying out immunization efforts all across in very, very different areas. Pata Dien, region Mugarame, Aptogun Akam Kia is amazing and in very difficult times. Uh, and there is so much of difficulties which you all face <clears throat> in terms of making sure that you know these efforts are carried out. But still, Pakistan is still struggling with polio. 
I think uh, one of the few countries still to find one of a few cases of polio emerging and other uh, communicable diseases have been brought under control. So uh, thanks once again and it's a wonderful investment in what you're doing and thanks once again for asking me. Thank you.